Today, I'm talking about IBM Storage Protect for Cloud for Microsoft 365. I'm going to run through a short overview and then demonstration of the ability to back up in a multi-cloud environment and then also restore the data direct to a user and also export the data elsewhere. My name is Richard Austin and I work for IBM Storage Software within Australia. Now Storage Protect for Cloud is a newer offering as part of our comprehensive multi-workload cloud data protection platform. SP for C, Storage Protect, is a part of the Protect family for cloud. And with this software as a service solution, we offer data protection or data insurance, some people think of it, for Microsoft 365, for Power Platform, not to be confused with IBM Power, Salesforce, Dynamics 365, Azure, and soon Google Workspace as well. Now, today I'm going to focus on Microsoft 365. Did you know Microsoft does not back up your data? Can you prove to me? Can you perform a restore of a file that you deleted six months ago? What do we do from a Microsoft perspective? Well, from a Storage Protect for Cloud perspective, we provide comprehensive, incremental forever backups and storage and future restore of different platforms within the Microsoft portfolio, including Power, Dynamics 365, and of course, your normal office, which you're probably working on or have a, a window open on it today. We provide backup to IBM Azure Blob Storage, but also have the option to push the data elsewhere in the bring your own storage option. This could be IBM Storage Protect, previously known as TSM. This could be IBM Cloud Object Storage, whether it exists on premise or in the cloud. It could be Azure Blob, could be SFTP, Dropbox, uh, and it's also AWS S3 compatible. The key thing here is it's it's an S3 protocol, so you have block storage or something else. You need to be able to use the S3 protocol in order to write the data. So you might need a gateway server. Now, when you're bringing your own storage, of course, this provides an air gap from Azure to elsewhere. It's encrypted, so it's secure. And you can store it later on your mutable storage as well. So you've got double whammy. In terms of accessing the portal, we encourage multi-factor authentication using the Microsoft Authentication app. So, it's secure to access and it's secure to store the data too. So, in terms of a demo, in terms of what I'm going to show you, we're talking a backup of a large file from Microsoft 365 to IBM Cloud Object Storage in IBM Cloud. And we can see here that I've got a bucket defined and this is an active environment. So this could be new for you and that's okay. We want to be showing multi-cloud data protection services for real, not just for show. I'm logged into IBM Storage Protect for Cloud and I'm going to go into the application IBM Storage Protect for Cloud for Microsoft 365. When this loads, we will see that the application is successfully running backups. These are incremental forever jobs, so we'll see that most items have been skipped. They've been skipped because they've previously been backed up. I'm going to log in as a Dell. I'm going to log into her environment so that I'll be able to see her mail, but more importantly, the files in OneDrive. To generate data and to generate a file for a backup and later recovery, I'm going to select a large file to upload onto OneDrive. And go into the folder Top Gun Fighter School and select a large MP4 file to open. This will now upload onto OneDrive. 
I'm going to log in to my bucket on the IBM cloud. Logged into IBM public cloud. I've got a bucket called Breeze SP for C. And we can see that a number of different objects are stored within the bucket. As we saw in IBM Cloud and now in Storage Protect for Cloud, the storage settings for Microsoft 365 clearly show the bucket name Breeze, SP for C, access keys, and other credentials, some hidden, to access IBM Cloud object storage. Returning to Storage Protect Dashboard, I'm going to update the schedule to capture the changes that we've made within Adele's account. That MP4 that we uploaded is now eligible for backup. And rather than wait, I just want to adjust the schedule for the purposes of this demonstration to 11.13 a.m. The backup was a success. We can download and we can see additional details associated with this specific backup job. I'll hide part of my screen for the time being and then accelerate time so you can see what's in the CSV file. With Excel open, we can see the details we can see the size, we can see the job details, and we can see not only Adele's information, but information around other users' data. This wouldn't be a restoration job if we didn't delete the data. So I'll delete it from my files, and of course, I'll delete it from the deleted items. I'll delete it from the recycle bin as well. Click, delete. Yes, I do want to delete it. Bye bye, Top Gun Fighter training. With the file gone AWOL, we are now going to perform a recovery. Logged in as an administrator, I'm going to pick a Dell. I'm going to pick uh, find a document and then I'm going to find it by size because we know it's a large mp4 file so a larger than 10 meg and search we will see that there are four files here uh, mp4 files so once they're written a bit like a old CDR we used to burn in the day once it's written it can't be changed uh, and we're going to do a recovery of Top Gun uh, fighter school so we're actually going to do two we're going to do an export, so we're going to export the data, uh, and that's where the data is available to recover elsewhere. And then we're going to do uh, Maverick's uh, restoration of the Top Gun Fighter School. We're going to fill out the details. We're actually going to take the defaults uh, in this case, but there are options, for example, to restore to your own storage. Next and then of course, restore. Give it a second, give it a refresh, and we can see both restore and export is completed. So I'm going to download the content associated with the export request. We can see this is downloading onto the workstation, this workstation. And I'm actually gonna open the file, I'm gonna take that off screen and then bring the contents across for you to see. Oh dear, it looks like a password is needed. That's okay. We will get the password from the job monitor. Okay, I'll put the password in, click OK. I pull Top Gun Fighter School MP4 file interview double click on it and it will open a media playback file 
with the export complete let's now look in Adele's OneDrive within my files we can see Top Gun Fighter School MP4 clearly displayed with the original details or metadata associated with the file itself and if I click on the file of course it plays if you'd like to know more I would encourage you to visit the IBM Storage Protect for Cloud website. Here you will find more comprehensive information on how our solution benefits you, how to get started, some of the features that will benefit not just you but your end users, resources associated with our capabilities, related products including some new IBM flash systems and then the opportunity to try before you buy.